Okay, so is that pretty much everything that you had planned in regards to an introduction to methods today? Well, there is one more thing that I wanted to talk about. Depends on if you're trying to kick me off or no, not. No, what's that? <laughs> I did want to bring up the concept of scoping real, real quickly. Okay, yes. Uh, not, not like a whiteboarded out stack frame, but just a basic overview, because this is something that people will get confused about. I've seen them get confused about oh, it, and I think that I can cover most of the confusion with just a quick overview of what I mean by scoping. So, to put it simply, every method has a scope. Now, more things have scopes than just methods, but we're just talking about methods. So far, we've just been defining our variables at the top of our methods, and I encourage people to continue that practice until they get a lot more comfortable with the idea of scope. A scope basically is a, a grouping of identifiers or variables, you could say, meaning that a variable within scope A is not going to be accessible from scope B. So again, there are multiple ways to define scopes. For example, technically while enters new scope 2. But I'll include that statement for the sake of completeness, but for the sake of what I'm talking about right now, let's just say that this program has two scopes. It has a scope that starts on line 19 and ends on line 30, and it has a scope that started on line 6 and ends on line 16. Because these are in two separate scopes that are in no way related, nothing inside of either method can access private, or sorry, local variables inside either method. So let's let's introduce a third scope. I'm going to say static void scope example. Now, what if I want to do console right line decimal one, and then let's invoke scope example in main. I'll move this up here. Okay, so we're invoking scope example on line 12, and this method. It's trying to access decimal one, but you'll notice it's actually an error. If I try to run this program, I'll get a compiler error saying that the name decimal one does not exist in the current context. That is because decimal one is defined in a scope that is not related to line 20 scope. And there's no way for you to be able to access decimal one. But what if I really, really, really wanted decimal one? Like, it, it was vital to my program's execution that scope example printed out the value of decimal one. Well, you'd use parameters. 